folks, this is Ida Lee from Dad's Gaming Addiction, and we'll be taking a look at fairy tale furnishing because Vince doesn't want to. And to be honest, I can sort of see why. So, first and foremost, I can't even go into settings because it'll it'll put the game on full screen, which will actually ruin the recording. So um, at least it's just a basic, it's a basic settings thing. It's just a music slider and a sound effect slider and resolution. And that's really about it. Um, so I guess we'll just jump into it. Um, this game is about interior decorating and that's really all it is. There's really no storyline and it, at the end of every level, there's an email that you get from the owner of the house and it's, it's pretty dry. Like at first it was... It was really funny, it was really whimsical, but as it progressed the uh, quote-unquote story, it it was actually quite awful. Um, it made me chuckle at first uh, because it was pretty whimsical, but it quickly became a bit too absurd and boring. Um, but I gotta say, the graphics are pretty nice. Um, it has cartoony graphics, and you can place furniture in any which way. You can even complete a whole house just using one set of items, which is rugs, and that's essentially all there is. Every time you place a piece of furniture, you get these little points in the bottom left, and once you get to 50, you move on to the next house. So the biggest gripe with this game is the controls. It is awful, just god awful. And I can see Vince, actually rage quitting within the first uh, 30 seconds of trying to figure out these controls. And I actually played this game for, I want to say half an hour. And the first, I don't know, five, six minutes was just trying to figure out the controls. In order to go up and down, you actually have to move your mouse at the edge of the screen, which is pretty asinine as he likes to say um and just rotating it is is pretty annoying um you can use mouse you can hold the mouse button to tilt it it's just it's this is like pulling teeth it, it's it's really difficult um and even once you get used to it it's it's just it's just pretty bad um and then another thing is Rotating items, when you rotate an item, you can right click to, to rotate it uh, clockwise, but you can't do it counterclockwise. So you have to actually fully, or click a few times just to rotate it um, 45 degree angle. Uh, it's just, it's confusing. But if you hold uh, Q and E, you can smooth rotate it um, the other way. So at least there's that. And this is basically the game. I mean, there's a ton of items. Using mouse wheel, you can see a variety of different items. Um, and there is quite a bit, and you'll unlock new items as you place um, items down. And it can be all the same item if you want, and it'll still progress the quote-unquote story, and you'll go to the next house. And all of the houses have two floors just like this, a top and a bottom floor. You cannot place items outside the house on the floors, but you can place wall-mounted items uh, outside. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, so a lamp like this would be able to put outside. But see, like, now I'm struggling with controls. It's just, the controls in general are just awful. <laughs> um, and the only house is, that has more than two rooms is the very last house, which is not that hard to get to. And yeah, that's basically it. This is this is the whole game. It's just that you have different varieties of houses and items. And while it is very pretty, um, it is very lackluster. It's almost like, what's the point? So... This could have been a great game, but unfortunately, it really does miss the mark. And that's all I got to say about this. So it's a little quick video. And this is Idly again, from Dad's Gaming Addiction. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.